And now Tony is having her annual make along and I'm just now getting this video posted. So does it count? Um, we are on the way home and my husband is in the gas station using the restroom and getting gas. But I thought I'd pop on here to say, I brought like all these hook sizes with me. I have a cough drop in my mouth too. So that's great to be recording. But I brought these hook sizes and then this one too. And the smallest one I brought was a 4.5 and the pattern calls for a six millimeter, but clearly I'm very, I'm a very loose like crocheter and knitter. And this fabric that this is making is also kind of hard to read with all the little like nubbies, which is my favorite part about it. And I am like, I have like three different kind of kinds of colors of the nubbies so I'm kind of switching like every row basically at the start of this and then I'm guessing the sleeves I'll have the majority of the last color that I have left because there's one color where I have a bunch of it and it's like the purpley themed one I've kind of themed them in my head um, like one is like purpley and then one is autumnal like orange and yellowy and then one is colorful so it's got like you know green blue red like rainbow colorful so I think the sleeves will be more purpley because that's what I have the most of I'm also finding that I'm like crocheting my hair into it already at the very start of it but I think that um the like pattern of the granny square idea is probably not going to be as noticeable in mine to where like it has the center point but I'm still going to enjoy the construction of it in the making of it and I'm going to be doing like good stash busting with this it feels really nice too so yeah if I could ever get the, the gauge done I think that I'm going to enjoy it so, it, when Gage is set, he's about to be on his way back, so I gotta stop video, but when Gage is set to say, like, certain stitches in a certain pattern, it gets me a little bit messed up, especially because, like, I'm doing the pattern, I just start the project, and then I'm trying to get to the row count that it says, but I'm guessing that I have to count these, this side of the rows, and this side. Gotta go. Okay, I think I finally have the hook size how crazy is that really like here we go this is the four millimeter i think we're good also do you guys like my mega mix do bag and that's what i'm keeping my yarns in and these are like the three colors. I'm sure you saw them before, but for this willow sweater, do you see how like I'm blending them? So they're basically just all running together. So I think my sweater is gonna be more of like a solid look, but I hope that the drape will come back and it's not gonna be like this super chunky sweater um, because of using such a small hook size. I'm almost thinking like maybe I needed to switch my yarn size, but I want to use this yarn now. I'm like committed to having this colorful thing. I just love all those little nubbies. 
They're so cute. It's been a couple days, but I got a panel done and I just have to show you. It's wild. It really is. And I don't even think that it relays well through the camera. I mean, it looks like a party. Mine is definitely gonna be the most unique version out there because you don't really have that focal point um, like the design has, especially like the way I was blending. I mean, you can kind of still see that this is a square up here, but it has like all this slip stitch detail and that was so hard to do with this kind of yarn. Um, and so some of it I fudged a little bit, but I mean, am I even showing you the right side? I think so. Like you can't tell. I, I ripped all my nails off and I need to do them, so don't judge. I, I feel like I'm always saying don't judge my nails, but hey, this is how it goes. Um, like just doing it with those little nubbies. Yeah, so I have, since I have so many different yarns to switch, I do have a few ones to be going on here. So I'm gonna, I've already started the first row of the back panel. Um, so I can't wait to even, I think I'll be faster on the back panel and then I can get to the sleeves, seam this up and get to the sleeves. But when I seam it up, I'm gonna try it on. Like, okay, so I don't think I paid attention to like what the finish measurement was, but I know, um, so I'm doing the medium. But normally I do smalls, but the small here says 32 bust and the medium says 36 bust. And it says that you need four to six inches of, like the design is meant to have four to six inches of positive ease. So I wasn't sure if like that was incorporated in. So if you did the small, then it's plus four to six or, you okay girl? Be careful. And, or if it's the medium, then, like 36 plus four to six. So I just went safe because I'm cool with having like a baggier sweater, but I hope that I don't have to have like a yarn chicken issue, but it looked like the yardage was given the same for both sizes. So hopefully we're all good. So far so good. I have um, quite a bit of yarn left, I'd say. I've got all this, well, you're getting a little shady here because of my ot light is giving it, casting a shadow. So I have this, and then I have like what's left in my like project bag. So this is the part that I've started. They're foundation stitches. Set. I love foundation stitches because you don't have to like go back into the chain. At least with this yarn, it's nice. I understand needing like chains for some structures sometimes, but um, yeah, I kind of like having that little extra stretch also from the foundation uh, single crochet. So we'll see how things go. I think it'll be pretty cool. I mean, I almost feel like this should have been my birthday sweater. It's like a, a confetti party. <laughs> While I was put together all weekend, I couldn't bo be bothered to do a little video, right? I have to wait till this look to show y'all. <laughs> but hey, just, you know, oh no. Well, I'm gonna have to make sure to get that stitch marker set, but I've got both panels done. That's why I'm on here. I didn't get much work on this project done over the weekend, but I mean, look, here I am with a front panel and a back panel and I'm about to start sleeves. So I put my new stitch markers that I got from my friend Stacy at Bah Humble. They're unique to us. It says RB Heart NY, which is Rhinebeck, New York. And then this one says, well, you can't see it, can you? It says Chromies. So we had a nice group of friends that met up at Rhinebeck. It was my first Rhinebeck and it was lovely. And I had seen Tony's Sylvie shawl there. I touched the little tassels and I knew that I had to have it. Then I've been seeing everybody's juniper cowls and I'm like, 
yes, I need that. And then, you know, I was like, well, I might as well have the whole collection. So here we are, as you know. But um, this is the front. And you can't even tell like it's got that square thing going on in the front, right? Because it looks just like the back. But the back is done in rows. So this is in rounds and that's in rows. But I thought I'd show y'all before I get to starting on the sleeves. I guess we do the sleeves and then we'll seam the sides because I just seam the shoulders. So, fit check, good. Okay, I have done like the full repeat of the sleeve and I have to repeat like the last bit like eight times. So I've decided to like, this is how much of these two colors I have left, which is still quite a bit and it might get me to the end of the sleeve, but I wanna make sure that I have the same amount left to be able to do the second sleeve. And I just don't wanna even manage yarn chicken. And I'm also tired of managing the yarn in general. So I have so much of this and I was thinking I was gonna make the sleeves all this anyways, but at least like now it's gradual from the panels to the sleeve. And now I'm just gonna continue on with this color for the rest of the sleeve because it's already a lot to have to go from the different directions. There's like four sets of, it, of different types of rows because of this linen stitch. And there's a chart that tells you for each size, like what repeats and what rows you need to do. It really is genius. But at this moment, that's when I feel like it would be best to probably have the instruction printed out. And they're kind of like the chart and the written instruction are both are on two different pages. So I'm finding myself like flip flopping back to like make sure with myself. So I just don't want to deal with also managing the yarn. I just want to stitch the sleeve. I am definitely going to have second sleeve syndrome. I'm not going to want to do the second one, but maybe I should let no. I'm going to finish this one and then I'll go to the second one. I almost was consider, considering going to start the second one and then come back to this, but no, we're gonna finish this one because I wanna see what it looks like. Okay, let's use this beautiful angle to talk about all the yarns that I used. Um, look at all these wrappers. Um, this is what I have left from making the Willow sweater. This is like a full thing, I think. This is not, I've used quite a bit of this. And I'm probably gonna re, <laughs> I don't know, ball this up, I guess but I've been keeping it to the side to show y'all. So it, this is called Tweed Velours de Tiber, Tiber. It's obvious, I guess it's a French yarn, it says France. It is 60% wool, 29% viscose, 11% polyamide. Um, the colorways are not like named colorways, they're like numbered colorways at least on these labels. So, um, I think that this yarn definitely took away from all the details of the design, but I love it so much. It was so much fun. Minus like some of the slip stitching on like the collar part. It was, my dog's gonna be drinking water right now at the same time I wanna film. Always, guys, always. Um, it was a little bit tedious to work with on the slip stitching, and I can't say that I got it perfect, but it's still just as beautiful as you see.
Hey friends. Okay, it's been like a few weeks, like maybe a month. I don't know, like a while basically. And I have not shown you the progress on this at all, not even the start or anything. So the, the second project that I ended up picking up just because like to hang two skeins was much easier, if that doesn't give the hint away, was the Sylvie shawl. And things escalated very quickly. <laughs> so, you know, it just kind of happened. I kept thinking I was gonna come on here and like tell y'all and get so excited about like how things are going with each row, but I just couldn't stop. Tunisian just has that way about it. Like it's, it's addictive. Oh God, it's so addictive. It's just, it, it's rewarding for my soul. And maybe it's cause like I don't design with that either. So like knitting and crochet is basically a job to me, but this was like just complete fun. Also, I wanted the whole collection simply because of this. I saw Tony wearing hers in real life and the little tassel bits just brought me so much joy. I knew I had to have it, especially like the little spine details also. Um, so I'm super excited about it. I did lose that yarn chicken for the last few rows. And um, so this one only has like one stripe there. And then there's like um, a couple extra of this color. But my spine's gonna be made out of this color. I have so much left. And yeah, I mean, I'm just, I don't even know what to say. Excuse me. This detail is amazing. You know why I probably ran out of yarn too and lost at yarn chicken is because I did not gauge. I just, I thought, oh, it's just a shawl. I don't care what size it comes out. I didn't really think about, you know, possibly running out of yarn. So I just grabbed the hook size. I used the um, Lika interchangeables and, or Likey. I don't even know how you're really supposed to say it. But, um, hang on, oh, nice view there, huh? This set, Blue Mule Fiber gifted these to me and I absolutely love them. I really wanna try the knitting sets now um, because I just love the glide of them. I just have a hard time straying away from the chai goo because um, the cord, but uh, I feel like the reverse side of Tunisian is just as pretty also. And this yarn is so cool because it's got like Stellina and it sparkles. Oh, I'm so obsessed. I can't wait. Um, yeah. So now I'm gonna start on the spine part. But before I did that, I wanted to be sure to totally tell y'all it's happening. <laughs> The um, Sylvie shawl, I have this much left and it was Melrose Designer's Choice Crav Cravanella. Um, it is 70% wool and 30% rayon. This stuff is so cool. It's so cool. It's like, you could really see the plies on it and it feels like it's got some real stretch and bounce to it. Um, in contrast to using this yarn, this was the blue color sparkly yarn that I used and it's a knit crate yarn. It is Euro yarn sugared sock in the colorway Hidden Pool. It's 70% superwash merino, 20% nylon and 10% Stellina. Love, love, love this yarn. And I feel like this yarn was more plush than this. I have like none of it left. I used every bit of it because I had to use more of this colorway and I still have quite a bit. So I'm gonna have to reball this one up too. I don't know, I have like a basket I put all my scraps in. I'm sorry, these dogs. Um, but 
yeah, so now that I've got this video done, I will set it aside. And I usually try to save like the labels. I don't even know, so that whenever I use it in a project, I know. Um, so I don't even know or remember which label of this goes with which color of this. So I guess I'll just save one of them. <laughs> it's fine because I probably am not gonna use it in a project where I need to know like exacts. It'll probably be just a fun project. I just started this last night. Things have escalated rather quickly. <laughs> I mean, I'm already on the third color. I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 colors. Um, I just picked a hook and went with it. I know that I'm a very loose yarny. And so, yeah, uh, after doing this first round, like I realized I'm not doing that over again. So I'm not worried about the yardage or the dimensions. I think mine, um, I could use to have gone up another hook size. I'm like one stitch off and probably like at least a half inch of height off. We're out here checking out the RV. Jeff is out here checking out the RV and it's right by the highway, so excuse the cars. Um, I just figure I better tell you before I get too carried away with it because I'm obsessed. The little, the puffs are so little. I mean, they're so cute. I don't want to not pet them. Excuse the glow, but you know what? They're that radiantly good to me also. So, um, but yeah, I just like this hook and Ain't none wrong. I already checked that it would fit over my head, and so I'm good. I'm gonna get probably a little bit of growth with a blocking, but um, it's perfect. I'm ready for this rainbow. Okay, y'all, don't judge me in any way. Like in this way and the fact that I didn't gauge and so I have extra yarn. Um, okay, let me show you. Tell me this isn't freaking amazing. Okay, this little tubey thing here looks interesting. I can't get any better angles, so this is what you get, but um, this little tubey thing is very interesting, right? So it just like keeps on growing because, you know, from your neck up here to your shoulders, that's what you do is you keep on growing and you want that full coverage with a cowl. And I love that about this design. I really do. Um, but since I didn't get gauge, I, this is technically the whole design, like all the steps minus the border, like the border here and the border here. So, you know, this is my rainbow and then this is going to be like my clouds. So I want to fit all that on there. So I'm just going to have a little bit more cowl, but technically it's probably off. I haven't, I haven't measured the whole thing, but it's probably off since my gauge was off. I hope that didn't mess up the camera. I got low battery signal. You like my Indy um, Untangled at Rhinebeck t-shirt? <laughs> Anyway, look how cool. So um, I'm obviously just gonna go like the full on color and I think it'll just spread out here. Also, it's probably not gonna be this snug in real life. Um, it's probably going to be a little, like not this sturdy. It's probably gonna be a little bit more looser whenever I wash it. It's definitely gonna be less scratchy than it is right now. But I feel like um, this, <laughs> This is, this brings me so much joy, like the rainbow effect and the design itself, and it's going to spread to my shoulders more. Um, these little puff stitches, I wouldn't want them any larger or spaced any different. I feel, and I feel like with this whole Arboreal um, collection, 
I, I pretty much started from the hardest and went to the easiest and that brings me so much joy. This, this has been a very nice refresher for me. Um, it's just fun to do like something fun. <laughs> not have to worry about like designing, being able to stash bus, being able to follow somebody else's creativity and stuff and make it my own. I, I won this yarn from Knitty Natty and it was donated by the Creative Knitter and um, I've been saving it because I was like, what am I gonna make with this rainbow? And this thing could be made with such like with scraps, with anything, like tonal, like the whole shebang. Any way you want to do it, there's no wrong way a juniper cowl is going to come out because they're all going to be fabulous. Um, but I've been saving it and they're the perfect minis. And then when I checked on the yardage, um, it seemed like I was going to be a little off. So I threw the Koigu in and Koigu was who Tony collaborated with for this collection. And I've met them in person long ago, like, and it's a whole family thing um, I met the mom and the daughter and I uh, they're so kind and whenever I first purchased like more of this colorway they were so helpful and so kind also um, they have like really cool pencil box collections um, so it brings me joy to be able to work with stuff that I know somebody else had joy in also so it's like a full-on yarn community with this thing and I'm just I don't know what to say guys like what else can I say I'm gonna finish this tonight that was my goal and it's gonna happen I'm taking a little bit of a chore break but I'll reward myself for the rest of the night so the juniper cowl um, this whole collection was done with Koigu and I have some, had some Koigu left. This is all I have now, left now. And they also only do their colorways in like a number, except theirs are like really long numbers. So I think this is the actual color and then this is the lot. Um, but yeah, so this is the Koigu KPPPM. I can't even remember what that stands for, but they have like different, um, Okay, it stands for Koigu Painters Palette Premium Merino. Say that three times fast. <laughs> it's 100% merino wool. And this is also cool, like you can see the plies on it too. Um, love, love, love their yarn. I love the family aspect of them too. So this is such a tiny amount. I'm not even going to save the label and I'm going to be, um, balling this up and putting this in my little gumdrop machine. I have like a little old gumdrop machine and I put the, the tiny bits that I have left in there and excuse the crinkle coming. It also used the creative knitter. This was like, excuse me, a full collection rainbow color yarn. Once upon a rainbow collection. Um, it is creative sock. It's 80% superwash merino and 20% nylon. The dyer is from Ontario, Canada. And Koigo is also in Canada. So um, yeah, yeah. They're from Shotsworth. Ontario, Canada. Oh, both of them are from Ontario. Well, now that I've done that, um, I guess that's it. <laughs> Y'all, I've been slacking. I've been slacking. It's been a few days. I already finished this. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This is the happiest thing I've ever made in my life. Um, I just love how it's the rainbow with the clouds. And then you know how like you see all the, you see all the like emojis and stuff and it'll be like the rainbow like arched and then the cloud and the cloud. I feel like that's what I got. So that's why I made, um, 
I repeated this bottom color onto the top. And I think I only did like a couple more repeats. I think I only had to do a couple more repeats, but I love the shape, like upside down funnel, you know? Um, it really makes it lay uh, so beautifully. I have not woven in any ends on any of my projects, but they're all complete now. They're all ready to be washed and for me to do my finished object or my finished object pictures. So I keep on saying I'm gonna wash them, but I swear it's the worst part for me. I always end up procrastinating, but I wanna wear the things. I wanna post this video for y'all. So I also have been hoarding this. I have had this and this has been my reward. And I just figure, you know, since this was a whole Tony month for me, um, that, yeah, like I said, this would be my reward after I finished. So, um, maybe I should have brought some scissors over here to open this up because my nails don't. Can you guys guess what this is? I mean, if you know TL Yarn Crafts and you've been following her, you should know what greatness is in this box. <laughs> Y'all, I got the bundle. I got the bundle because I deserved it. And I couldn't resist, but I've seen like sneak peeks of like, I say sneak peeks, but it's a sneak peek to me. I've seen other people open their packages and seen like some of the things they got. Okay, I'm gonna cover my address, but I gotta show you like this sticker here. She got stickers specially made. Happy Mail, thank you for your order and supporting my small business. Hashtag TC Handbook. You know. <laughs> oh, look, little little thingies are coming out. Okay, so my little order form, don't care. I know I ordered it and I'm keeping it all. Look, look how beautiful this is. Okay, I should flip the camera so you should see. And I should also take a picture of this real quick. Hang on. Okay, y'all, first glance and I'm freaking out all over again. Like when I ordered it and heard about it, I'm so proud of her. She deserves this book. She probably should have had this book ages ago because hello, nobody has known about Tunisian if it weren't for her. This little, I love this little note card. I'm gonna have to put this on my bulletin board. Keep this as a memory for her. My dogs are just barking away. Ooh, what's this? It's a secret box. Oh, it's a tape measure. Oh my gosh, it's own little TLYC makers. I love the box too. I'm gonna keep it in this box till it falls apart. <laughs> I will be devouring these little candies, so thank you, Tony. Um, how is one gonna be, be enough for me? <laughs> this is gonna make me go buy more candies. Clean burning wax, hand poured with love, white confetti box. Mm. Oh, oh, that, I can't wait to burn that. Of course my dogs want to bark right when I start this video, I swear. And you know, oh my goodness, Bee Queen's Boo Lip. I'm surprised we didn't have the lotion, but ooh, look at that. Let me try this. Mm, maybe I should have done it on camera. Y'all want to see me apply that on my lips? Oh my God. Mmm. 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 That's great. Hang on one second. It's starting to get dark here, so Tubby, he gets very bossy if I let him out and then he's like, sits at the door and says, let me in, let me in. So that's what he wanted. But now I can come back on here and be like, Yes, yes, yes. This is such a different type of shape for a chapstick. Chapstick, that's a brand, right? I should say Boo Lips Stick. <laughs> All right, so let's continue on with the greatness. Oh, before I make a big old mess, but um, look at these little stickers she added in here. 
I'm not the biggest cat person, but I'm going to use this sticker on my computer so that I can think of Tony every time. And this guy, oh, I love him. I don't think I'll put him on my computer because I wanna have him forever and I won't have my computer forever. I'm gonna save him until he's just so good. I'm probably gonna put him on my notebook, my designer notebook. That'd be a good one, good idea. And this yarn. I got the periwinkle. I once had a dog named Periwinkle. If I find a picture, I will insert it here so you can see what she looked like. But she was a um, Chihuahua Terrier. And I had seen like a paint swatch at the store that was called Periwinkle. And I decided that my next dog was gonna be named that. And so that's what she became because she was my next dog then. So this is cum Cumulus Bulky. But anyway, all that to say is that I meant to, um, or I picked this color because of that. I couldn't not. But this is a bulky weight, 76 yards. It's from Jake of Ken Yarn. Look at that, they did. They have their little collab on there. And the thing we've all been waiting for. <laughs> now I'm thinking of, what, what is that um, like circus musical movie where it's like they sing that? what we've been waiting for. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay. Look at her. I have met Tony multiple times and I swear I gain more and more respect for her every time. And um, look at that. I can't wait to make this one. I have made one, but um, of her other braided one, and I think it kind of is stemmed off of that, but I have a feeling it's a little bit different. So I can't wait to make that. And anyway, I met uh, Tony's mom this year too. So yay, I got her autograph. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, so yep, all the instructions at the beginning. So if you've never tunisian you could learn from her, the greatest and then designs in the back. Oh my goodness, I saw a puppy dog. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just stoked. This reward is so deserving for me.
Well, it's all laid out and it might take a while to dry. I still think the Sylvie shawl is my favorite, but I love each of these so much. This willow sweater is definitely gonna take a while to dry. I last minute slapped on a face and decided um, to take some pictures this morning. Well, I wove in some of these ends. This, this top has a lot of freaking ends. I wove in some of the ends uh, before and then I was like, I need some good lighting to do it. Um, so we're getting cool weather. Like it is super cold out here right now. I'm freezing already. Um, do it for the gram. Look at that golden hour. That's why I have to hurry up and do this. So, um, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. So I didn't weave in all the ends this is what I'm basically saying. I did all the important ones. I did like the, um, wrist and the bottom of the body, but nobody has to know that underneath my sweater, although I'm telling you right now, I have, uh, ends under my armpits. I've got ends in the shoulders. And you know what? It's probably going to stay like that forever. It feels comfortable. So this is how it's going to be. I will say that um, a lot is lost in the yarn. So if you want to make this, be sure to choose something not as busy as I did because then there's no point in dealing with the mess of all this um, color work and you don't get to see like that color detail. Um, but also I think my gauge might've been messed up in some of it too. So uh, mine is a bit form fitting, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> I love it. Um, this is the perfect weather for this. Okay, so I'm hoping, look at that glow. I'm hoping I can get something here before the sun goes down. Well, <laughs> it's 38 degrees out here, which isn't cold for some, but we went from like 70s to 20s, close to teens yesterday. Um, so we didn't have any chance to get acclimated to this. So um, it feels extra cold. I got a few shots, so that's a wrap on this for this time around. I really wanted to get it done while it was still cold. So task accomplished. I didn't get a lot, but it's enough for you to get the gist of it. And for me to be able to share it now that it's New Year's and I've had it done for a while um, since the Arboreal Cal happened, obvi. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to do another shoot with the other items because there's not much sun left.
Say hi to the people. Say hi. 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 Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and get a photo. Where are a few photos of us together? How's that? I got glammed up. I got him studded up. Yeah, and he's wearing the juniper cowl. And I'm wearing the Sylvie shawl. I might get a picture of him in the Sylvie shawl too. How about that? Okay, let's take a selfie, dude.